And finally, the calculation. So, 180 times 4, 180 times 4, 0 times 4 is 0, 8 times 4 is 32, 1 times 4 is 4, add 3 is 7. So, the in total internal angles is 720 degrees. So, 720 degrees. Now I need to work out what each of the angles are, so I divide them by 6. So I do 720 divided by 6. How many 6s go into 7? 1 with a remainder of 1. How many 6s into 12? 2. No remainder. 0 6s in 0, so it's 120. So each vertex, this is 120. And because it's a regular shape, each of the angles is 120. So that means that this angle here is 120 degrees. So therefore, each vertex I've written up here is 120 degrees and still got my centigrade there. We're not, we're not measuring the temperature, we're me measuring the internal angle. So 120 degrees. So now I need to work out what this entire angle is here. So this angle, this right angle in the square, at the angle within my hexagon. So I'm going to do 90, which is the right angle in the square, add 120, which is the angle inside the hexagon, which is 120 add 90. I should probably do this in my head. 0 add 0 is 0. 9 add 2 is 11. 1 add 1 is 2. So this is 210. So now I know that this angle here, in total, is 210. 210 degrees. So now I need to work out why. So yep, you've guessed it. This entire um, angle here, if I can do a, an entire circle, and I know an entire circle is 360 degrees. So I'm going to do 360 degrees, take away my internal angle, 210. Um, so I should do that in my head, but I'm going to write it out anyway. 360 take away 210, 0 take away 0, 0, 6 take away 1, 5, 3 take away 2, 1. So Y has a value of 150 degrees. I hope the way that I've set that out will help you to set out your work so that you can work out. You can see that it takes more than a few minutes to do. And if you've got any questions, you can go onto Google Chrome Classroom and ask us on there. All the best. Good luck.